so this is the signal and systems so first thing is signals the quantity which have associated information is known as systems sorry known as signals in electrical engineering normally signals are in the form of the current or the voltage right so <coughs> all the signals are represented in terms of the current or the voltage so electrical engineering all the signals are represented in terms of current and voltage that is it or vt that is current with respect to time or the voltage with respect to time that is a function function that is a signal represented by a function which is a function of time or voltage and current and second thing is system system means it process the signal system may be hardware software etc right or any electrical equipment mechanical equipment hardware software or anything else so <coughs> this is the basic definition of signal and systems and in terms of the electrical or electronics engineering you can say that signal are just the if we are representing the current or the voltage but basically the signals are are in the uh, defined are in the terms of the ut del t rt that is the impulse function step function ram function triangular function square function okay and exponential function and so on so all the signals will be represented in terms of the uh, functions as i stated before and systems are always uh, the any hardware software electrical or the mechanical equipments right so next topic is operations on signal operations on signal so basically the operations on signals are first one is compression expansion second one is the shifting shifting means advancing or delay and compression and expansion is also known as scaling and third one is the time reversal so signals are always defined in terms of time and all the operations are done with respect to time we are first we will scale the time domain shift the time domain and time time reversal means reverse the time domain okay so first thing is 
scaling. If EFT is any signal in time domain, then T tends to AT, F AT and F AT will be the scaled version of F T. Right? So you have to remember that is always replaced by AT for the scaling purpose the T will be replaced by AT to get F of AT right second thing if A is greater than 0 for this purpose or this right for FT FAT T tends to AT if A is greater than 1 then that will be the compression if A is less than 1 then it become expansion so compression and expansion or always in terms of the time domain we are compressing the limit of the function or extending the limit of the function okay or also in other word you can say that if f t is equals to t a t f of a t so this when a is greater than 1 this is compression right and if ft is there and t is replaced by t upon a and it become ft by a then here a is also greater than 1 then it will be expansion so in other word in other words you can say that if a is greater than 1 and t is replaced by at then f at is termed as the compressed version of the ft if t is replaced by t by a then ft upon a will be the expanded version of the ft but in both the cases a should be greater than 1 ok so you can remember the concept by this method either either this concept or this one i think this concept will be much easier or if less than 1 then you can also decide whether this a is greater than 1 or less than 1 right so this is the part of the scaling of any signal and you have to remember one thing during scaling t will be replaced by a t or t will be replaced by t upon a ok now second part is shifting Second part is shifting. If FT is any function in time domain, then FT T replaced by T minus t0 so it become ft minus of t0 and that will be delayed version of ft ok this is a delayed version of the ft and you have to replace t by t minus of t0 right or you can also say that t minus when we are doing the t minus t0 it, it is it will be shifted in 
right direction in phase of your copy that is a right shift okay it will be shifted to the right side of for your copy so it will be delayed because if you see this is ft that means ft minus 0 it is originating from the t is equals to 0 but it become ft minus of t 0 so it will be shifted in right side direction that means away from the 0 right so it may be the delayed version or the right shifted okay and if ft is t is replaced by t plus t 0 so in this case ft plus t 0 that will be the advanced version of advanced version of ft and it will be the left shift okay so <laughs> ft plus t0 that means it is shifted in the left direction with respect to t is equals to 0 so it will be left shifted or the advanced version of the ft so when the shifting take place in the right side we will say it is a delayed version and if shifting take place in the left direction so it will be the advanced version of the any function okay third part is time reversal so time reversal in this case f t t will be replaced by minus of t and it become f minus of t okay so if reversal take place that means x axis will be reverted so you can say that it is just the mirror image with respect to the y axis okay because this is a plus t this is a minus t and this is a y axis so when we are changing time domain plus t with respect to minus t so it will be rotated by 360 degree a 180 degree and it will be the mirror image with respect to the y axis okay we'll see all the operations in detail for the particular functions in the next video okay thank you